Richard Goider, uh, thanks very much for talking to Business Spectator today. We know you, of course, as the chief executive of West Farmers. And West Farmers is uh, unusual these days. It's a conglomerate. It, it has uh, supermarkets, it has coal, it has some insurance products. If you had your chance again, would you design West Farmers to look like this? Well, we, we think we've been successful because we're a conglomerate, not in spite of being a conglomerate. And let me give you a couple of reasons for that. Uh, firstly, uh, being a conglomerate has enabled us to expand, uh, and I think our cum cumulative annual growth rates since we listed in terms of market caps about 25% per annum. So we've been able to expand very strongly for 27 years by moving into businesses in an economy which we know and understand. And in some ways I think there's less risk diversifying into new businesses, particularly the way we've done it, than there is in diversifying into to new countries with country risk, currency, tax, all mm -hmm. those sort of things. So, so West Farmers has been able to grow because of the diverse businesses we, we have. But some people would see that as, a, as something of a gamble to move around like that. And in your case, you had to make some big moves. We look at West Farmers today and it, it's going from strength to strength. But that wasn't always uh, a done deal. If you look back at, you had a, a rights issue with it, right in the middle of the GFC, you've had to make some big calls, strategic calls. Is that part of the nature of how you operate a conglomerate? Well, I think one of the things that's very important to West Farmers is we're very, very financially focused. So we're reasonably agnostic about what businesses we invest in as long as we think we can make a return for our shareholders. Mm -hmm. So everything we do, we do based on financial analysis and that, that's the heart of the group. And, and I think that means we don't grow the company for growth's sake, for building empires. We actually grow it for the benefit of our shareholders. Mm -hmm. uh, sure, we had some issues we needed to deal with through the global financial crisis because, not because I, in my view we were overgeared, because we had debt that was going to be need to be refunded within a couple of years and at the time debt markets were closed so we raised equity. The good thing about that though was that we had very strong support from retail and institutional shareholders I think because of the track record the company has. Yes and you've managed to maintain that track record you took over from Michael Cheney of course at, uh, at West Farmers. Tell us about the company today. Unusual in some respects you have, uh, talking about financial analysis, you have, you have an executive on the books that is paid more than you as CEO. That's not unusual in an investment bank but it's unusual in an in a, in industrial uh, blue chip. Uh, tell us about your management style and how you run the team. Yeah. Well, we, we have a relatively small corporate office which oversees plans, budgets, capital expenditure, key people, initiatives, the full treasury company support functions. But we, we leave our businesses to run themselves day to day. Uh, and in fact, if we feel we need to get too involved in the day to day running of a business, it's probably to, time to look at the management of that business. Mm. Uh, and, and we have a lot to do in terms of managing the portfolio and, and obviously the, the, the full corporate functions at, 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 at the corporate. The businesses you know, we need, because we've got diverse businesses, we need good leaders in our businesses. Mm. In Coles, which is probably the most significant retail turnaround globally in the last couple of decades, we needed a world-class team and we need to put in place a remuneration structure to attract world-class team. I think we've got that team. Mm the runs are starting to be put on the board and uh, and I've always said I will be delighted if Ian McLeod has paid more than me because that will mean Coles is delivering on what we want to do for our shareholders. Okay and looking at this uh, issue you talk about the support base you had from the retail shareholders as well at the time of the rights issue uh, and that maintains I see from a recent survey of DIY funds the top uh, 10 stocks that they hold includes West Farmers. Now you are facing an issue at the moment from that same base, from the retail base. Uh, they're worried that your dividends are too much dependent on your cash flow and if there was a, a pinch on the margins in the supermarkets for instance or in the retail side you might have difficulty maintaining that dividend. Have they got a point? Well firstly we, we've had over many years wonderful support from our shareholders from our days when we listed in 84 you know, from Farmers Cooperative in Western Australia to the Coles acquisition and, and I think there's a couple of reasons behind that. Uh, we've, we've always endeavoured to deliver satisfactory returns to our shareholders and we've endeavoured to do that through an appreciation in the share price but also capital returns and dividends and, and we know dividends are very important 
to our, all our shareholders, particularly our retail shareholders. Do you think they're more important in this climate than previously? Uh, absolutely, I think mm. they are more important because it, it is difficult in the current climate to get the sort of capital growth in your share price that mm. we might have had you know, up to three or four years ago. Mm. Um, on dividends, we, you know, West Farmers has got a very strong balance sheet courtesy of the equity we raised some years ago and courtesy, I think, of some prudent financial management. Uh, and so we will protect that balance sheet at all costs going forward because of a fragile economic environment globally. Uh, but we've got terrific cash generating businesses in the group and because of that we should have very strong capacity to pay frank dividends to our shareholders going forward. Richard Goyder, thank you very much for talking to Business Make Teacher. Thanks very much. Thank you.